let's grab all this up, and then I should be able to make myself a new pickaxe. And then after that, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do. <laughs> there are a couple of functioning floor I could do. I could start working on the, uh, maybe I'll start working on the altar, because that would be nice too. Then I can do all the really painful uh, rune recipes off camera, maybe. Uh, so let's see, we need some... We need some more twigs, two more of those, and then we can make ourselves a pickaxe. Sweetness. All right, so now we've got Man of Steel pickaxe, Man of Steel axe, and that's mining level obsidian, which is going to be pretty important because I'm going to need some obsidian uh, relatively soon for something. There was something. I know that there was something I, I really, really wanted obsidian for, and I have no idea what it was now. I was like, oh, I need to get something to obsidian level. And it's just gone. Okay. So, let's see here. Runic, Ar Runic Altar. Okay, so this we need. A Mana Pearl, which is going to be the other one. <laughs> and some Living Rock. I don't think I've got that much Living Rock, do I? I've got three Living Rock. Alright, well. Let us grab... I think I can just... Yeah. I'm going to move him over so that I can actually salvage this piece of stone and put the rest of the stone just down around it. I should probably get some more living wood while I'm at it because I'm going to need these for lots more spreaders. Actually, while we're waiting patiently, I should have shown you what the the lovely contractor at Taco Hut Incorporated came over and did. Since I've got a lot of debt to be tracking, uh, Taco Hut Incorporated sent over a another private contractor and he set up this which is the accounting system for all of my debt and if we come around back here we've got some inputs here for liquid deposit and solid deposits which I'll be using to put the funds into this debt calculation system I'm sure it's shipped off to their central location and then the numbers are just shipped back so that's how we're going to be keeping track of uh, how much debt I've got and how much money I've got or at least the, the debt part. I probably will keep money. I'm not sure if I'll keep it in their account or if I'll end up uh, if I'll end up just keeping it on hand. Maybe I'll make my own version of that so that I don't have to, you know, have them with their hands all over my money. Because I'm sure that if I let them keep my money, I'll probably never see it again. Not to besmirch the the good name of their company, but um, yeah, we we all know what's going on there. Okay. So, this should be done. Good. So now we got our Man of Steel pickaxe. As you can see, it's not taking any damage because I've got that mana tablet on me. That is snazzy. I love, I love that about about Man of Steel tools is that you can just use your mana generation systems to keep them healthy. Where's my mana tablet? So I've got 992 left in it. Okay, solid. So then we need to go and get that other mana pearl and hope that we've got enough mana in the system now to turn it not mana pearl, ender pearl and hope that we've got enough in the system that I can actually you know, do something with it otherwise I'll have to plant those ender pearl oh, those uh, ender lily seeds and just really hope, I may do that anyway uh, I really do need to get them at least doing something even if they're going to freeze up, you know, five minutes after I leave the server or whenever it seems to be related to, the that particular bug seems to be related to uh, when the server reboots, so uh, so this will need to be Let's move it, like, right there. Because what we'll do is we'll put that down, and then we'll need to put another mana spreader here, pointed this way, and then we can bind that pool to the mana spreader, and it'll send it over through the runic altar. Now, what the runic altar is going to let us do is um, stuff. Uh, primarily, it's going to let us get to kind of the next level in a lot of things, because if we pick up something functional flora, let's see. One thing that we need to make pretty early, Bellathorn? Ooh. Oh, that needs redstone. I don't think I've got any redstone. Or if I do, I don't have very much. Uh, I'll have to, I'm going to definitely do a lot of mining off screen. Uh, Daffinil's probably got some. Yeah. Are these runes? Uh, there are a lot of runes, and all of them have to be made on the runic altar. Hence the name. So, basically, I can make a whole bunch of runes so that I can make better flowers, including generation and things that utilize the Utilize the mana produced by by things like our good friend the Endoflame here. It looks like they're done. Let's just go ahead and toss another one in there. See if all three of them eat it up again this time. 
I think they do. I think all three of them. All three? Or just this one? How does this work? Uh, apparently it's just that one this time. I don't know how this works. Yeah, you guys... Okay, well, either I just wasted a whole bunch or, or it's inconsistent about them sharing. I don't know. But anyway. Complete lack of... Okay, so, uh, but it'll let me do some... Uh, other things like aggro carnations, which are going to be, I think, pretty key because those might help with the uh, the, the growing problem. Because aggro carnations basically work to make plants grow faster. We've noticed that things that improve plant growth speed, as well as things that um, alter the way plants grow, tend to keep them growing rather than having them freeze up. Uh, but the one that I really am interested in uh, pretty soon is this. Uh, jaded amaranthus and the reason for that is that this is the one pretty sure this is the one that makes uh, it. yes if you feed it mana from a mana pool it will quickly grow mystical flowers around it in any spot that it can um, that's pretty huge so that I don't have to keep dropping flowers on, or putting petals in the ground and are we getting towards night again nope that's noon um, but it'll keep me from having to keep planting flowers and bone mealing them and all I'll need to do is you know make sure that I have a mana system that can keep it fed so that it can grow flowers. And for that we need a rune of spring. And a rune of spring to pull up the Lexica Botania is a rune of fire, a rune of water, some wheat, and oak saplings. And each of these take mana steel, mana powder, fishing rods, and bone meal, and each of these take mana steel and nether brick. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. Uh, gunpowder, nether wart, and mana. So we're not going to be able to make this soon because I'm going to have to... Go. That's why I needed the obsidian because I need to go to the nether in order... Ah, now it's all coming together. That's why I need the obsidian because I need to be able to make the jaded amaranthus so that I can get a lot more mystical flowers. That's... Oh, I'm so glad that I decided to go off on that tangent because now I've reminded myself of what my progression is. Because <laughs> otherwise I don't have a clue. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if there's anything else I really want to make today, though. I don't know. I mean, no, not really. Not there. Should probably. Oh, that's right. I want to make a living wood bow. I need a bow. I need a bow because uh, creepers are. We're in hard mode, so creepers explode further away from you. They explode faster, and their explosions are more damaging. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I need to say about that. So we need three mana infused strings and three living wood twigs. Now, I don't think I've got enough living wood to make that many twigs, but that's not a problem because I just planted a whole bunch of living wood. Oh, I do have enough. All right, well, I'll just then do this. Sweet. No. Don't need that many. All right. So then I need the, the mana string, so I'll just take some... I think I got string, right? Silk. Ooh. We got regular string, right? Oh, there it goes, string. So this should be kind of like almost nothing like the, the powder was. Yeah, should be able to do. Nice shot. Okay, so now I'll make myself a nice, nice bow. Nice, nice bow. Where did the... Oh. Alright, living wood bow. And I think this works out in the same way. Uh, I don't have any arrows, do I? Nope. Uh, I think as far as just regular arrows. I think the only difference between this and a regular bow is the fact that it can use the ma it, the mana to fire the arrows. I've got all of four arrows, so I might as well shoot one off and just waste it, right? Uh, if I shoot it into wood, I think it has a good chance of being recoverable. There, yeah. Yes, okay, cool. So, and again, it uses the ma mana in the mana tablet to protect its own durability, which is, again, tremendous. So the last thing I should do today is make myself a mana sword. And that's about all the time I'm going to have, actually. Uh, I've just realized that I am almost out of time. So we're going to make ourselves a mana steel sword. And then we will be done. And I think, yeah, it's exactly like an iron sword in, in damage-wise, uh, but, again, it uses your mana in order to... So if I do that it should be taking damage but instead it's just draining from the mana tablet although the mana tablet doesn't seem to be draining down which is weird hmm oh I wonder if it's draining directly from the pool it might do that 
I'll have to check into that. Uh, I might have been actually wasting mana right out of the pool, which is not so great. But again, these guys are gonna I'm gonna be working those guys off camera, and then I think probably we'll start the next session with rigging up a an automation system for these guys so that I can just basically load it up with charcoal and just have it go. Uh, may also want to see about maybe using a, a Batania Batania style like uh, automatic tree yeah automated tree farm or maybe I'll, I'll dig into Thomcraft for that because both of them have pretty good automated tree farms. Uh, let's see that's I want to keep the string over here for now. The saplings I'm gonna need yeah might as well put all this in there. I'm gonna need most of that iron I'm actually going to need a lot more iron because I want to make mana steel armor. Let's see how, how much mana steel I can make right now. Oop. Okay. Uh, apparently I can make three. Not enough for... Okay. So before before we finish up here, let's talk a little bit about mana steel armor because I'm going to do this off camera because I do really, really want it. And that is, it's basically like normal armor. I think it's equivalent to... Oh, I forgot about Mana Weave Cloth. Hmm, do I want to do Mana Steel Armor or do I want to do Mana Weave Cloth? There is Mana Steel Armor, right? I'm not, I'm not hallucinating that because I thought it was... Let's just double check that. I might be just thinking of Mana Weave. No, there is Mana Steel Armor. Never mind. So, Mana Steel Armor is basically... I think equivalent, if I remember correctly, to Iron Armor. But again, it can use mana out of your tablet instead of mana out of your... Or not, instead of using its own durability, which again, pretty key if I'm going to be running around and you know taking damage and stuff. Uh, pretty important for caving. And there's also some other things that you can do to it. You can enchant it and do all that good stuff. So definitely uh, on my to-do list is to once I get enough mana together to make myself a full suit of mana steel armor. But that's going to take a while, especially uh, at the rate that I'm going right now. Again probably work some more on getting some more endo flames off camera just because uh, eight actually is a really good number as far as mana generation speed for quite a while especially if you get it automated so yeah expect to expect to see a whole bunch more endo flames uh, the next time we all come together but uh, I think that's gonna be about it for today I Got everything done that I wanted to, plus a couple of things I didn't expect to. I didn't actually expect to work as quickly as I did, uh, primarily because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I, I always work a little bit of fudge time in, but I work a lot of fudge time in for magic because I, I just don't know magic mods. I do all tech mods. Uh, but I'm feeling good about it. Uh, I'm going to get these, I think I'm going to get both of these uh, contracts uh, at least prepared to send out for the next session. If not, go ahead and send them out. Uh, probably breed some cows up and uh, get some leather from them and make a backpack and just kind of package all my things in backpacks for the time being. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give me a like. It does help the channel grow and it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And if you want to see more of the same, go ahead and subscribe to me as well. I really appreciate that kind of positive reinforcement. And if you want to see even more content, uh, go ahead and head over to Tausty's channel. He does a lot of uh, Minecraft stuff as well as a whole lot of other stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's my, my spiel for the end here. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys next time and I'll see you then. Later. Later.